What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody had a great Labor Day weekend. Thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel since the last video I posted. If you are new here, my name is Bobby. I go by B for short, and I make videos about the strange, unexplained, paranormal, mind-blowing, and true crime. So welcome. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> if you're a fan of my content, please make sure to go follow me on my Instagram account. And of course, if you're not already, subscribe to me here on my YouTube channel and turn on your post notifications so that you never miss out on a new video. With all of that said and done, let's get into our topic for the day. Today we're going to be covering something really spooky. We all love a good ghost story, and in all honesty this may be one of the most convincing ones I've seen yet. This video comes from a secondary school in Cork, Ireland called Deer Park CBS. This is the oldest school in Southside Cork and was founded back in 1828. So many generations of children have grown up in the classrooms at this school. But just a few years back, on October 1st, 2017, the staff was incredibly creeped out when the CCTV footage caught something truly unexplainable. Before I show the video, it's worth mentioning that this was taken at around 3 o'clock in the morning. And of course, at that time, there was nobody in the vicinity. It's also important to know that the camera this was caught on is a motion sensor camera, so it's triggered by movement. Here's the video. When the head teacher Aaron Wolf saw the footage, he responded by saying, If it's a prank, we don't know how it was done. Motion sensors were set off at this time. That's how it was caught. He also went on to report similar incidences that had been reported prior to the footage being seen and gave a little more detail surrounding the school's history. He said, The school is built on a site known as Gallows Green. In the 19th century, criminals were hanged here. We only found that out on Monday. The pub nearby is actually called The Gallows. After looking into Green's Gallows, this is what I found. The information I found said that the Cork Corporation leased a plot of land of Gallows Green for the building of a school in 1852. I'm assuming that's where Deer Park CBS stands today, although from the school's info, it says that it was founded in 1828. So it may have just been rebuilt on the Gallows Green land after already being in operation for 20 years. If it wasn't already obvious, the area got its name because of the public hangings that were once carried out there at the Gallows. In 1798, a rebellion was planned by the United Irishmen. The United Irishmen were a sworn society in the Kingdom of Ireland formed in the wake of the French Revolution to secure an equal representation of all the people in a national government. That is the literal definition, but they were basically a political slash nationalist organization that was in charge of making sure 
sure that the citizens in Ireland were being treated equally. And during this time, the rebellion began with a goal to remove the hold that English had over Irish affairs. So after the rebellion, many of those who were found guilty of being involved with the organization were executed. Some were shot in a field on the western edges of the city and others were hanged at Gallows Green. So as you can imagine, the area is supposedly very haunted. Not only did the public hangings take place in this area, but other forms of execution took place here as well, like women being burned at the stake for crimes such as petty treason. So it's no wonder why these strange occurrences are happening in this school. Head teacher Erin Wolf added that the female staff members also complain that this particular wing of the school is always extremely cold. And the part that gets me, the camera was set up right outside of the religious room. I don't know why, but that particular detail creeps me out. He also goes on to say that this isn't the first time unexplained things have happened inside of the school. Here's what else he had to say. Our caretaker has worked in the school for over 30 years. He recalls many stories of paranormal activity. For example, on one occasion, the school was hosting an exotic bird show, and the birds arrived the day before. Because the organizers were worried that someone might break in and steal the birds, someone had to stay overnight. That person left the school in the middle of the night. They refused to stay any longer as they said they heard the last call being played on a trumpet. The school is a spooky place, especially at night. It's an old-fashioned building, a Christian Brothers design. One student, George Long, was convinced last year he heard someone crying in one of the toilet cubicles. He thought it might be a first year, so he called the deputy principal, but there was no one there. Also, someone on our Facebook page reports that the lights in the building go on and off all night. Since this footage has been released, the staff has received numerous phone calls from people claiming that the school is haunted haunted by the ghost of deceased pupils from the past. But that's not it. Just a month later, Deer Park CBS came back and released another clip. Since this video has made its way to the public, people have been desperately trying to disapprove its legitimacy. Some are saying this could be the works of strings pulling objects around, or maybe special effects editing. Although it looks very convincing to me, I also understand that I'm not a skeptic when it comes to paranormal activity. So from someone else's point of view, maybe there's an explanation to this? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and of course, turn on post notifications so that you never have to miss out on any of my new videos. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.